Well, good morning. It is Tuesday, February 4th. Beautiful sunny day. Um, I've had the backup, backup generator running for three days. I uh, just finally unplugged my little battery charger there. Um, I took all the feedback. I got from my last video, I got some really good feedback from a bunch of you, and I want to say thank you, genuinely. Um, there was a couple things I didn't think of, uh, you know, uh, in trying to restore these batteries, um, you know, the, the guy that mentioned raising my float voltage, geez, what a good idea. Uh, so, so I'm testing that out today. Controller... <laughs> well, there's only 680 watts coming in, but batteries are already full. They're at 29 volts. Um, so she's probably still in boost mode right now. But I did raise uh, float voltage up to 28.5. So, all right, yeah, what do I got here? Not charge limit 30, equalize 29.2, boost 28.8, float 28.5. So, um, I believe it's in boost mode for two hours. And, uh, then it'll go to float and it'll just stay at 28.5 all day until there's not enough sun to keep it there and then it'll peter away as the sun goes down um i have been monitoring the uh the fluid with the hydrometer here let's just pick a random cell <coughs> well we'll pick one random cell out of each four batteries. I know it's 14 batteries, but it's technically four because I've each set of 24, I call a battery. Um, so there's a battery. I'll take one out of here and check. Uh, how about this one? And sure, how about this one? Um, the man that, her fella, that mentioned um, doing a load test on the batteries. I agree with you. You're 100% correct. Um, yeah, that's the best way to know. Uh, battery for battery. See? I'm at the bottom of the red. These were all almost all the way fried. Like, they were all, all the way into the red. Um, these ones... The freaking thing barely even would lift up and float. So, you know, we are getting somewhere. Uh, we are getting closer to the green. Drain that back out. Oop. I'll check this guy. And that's not that much different than it was um, with these batteries, with the 8 volters. That's not that much different. They didn't, they didn't, they weren't as bad as my 6 volters. Um, but these guys are finally showing improvement. Oh yeah, look at that. Lifted her up. You know. And before I started any of this, before I put the additive in, um, I want to say this battery, like, didn't even lift the thing up. So, between, uh, you know, whatever. I do give some credit to the additive. Uh, it helped. 
Of course, doing this long charge on the batteries is going to be more beneficial, but I think a combination of that one's still not awesome. <laughs> That's in the red, but uh, it did improve because all of these were like barely even popping the bulb off of the bottom there, you know. So, yeah, it's working, man. Um, and I'm going to leave the controller set like this. Uh, you know, initially I'm thinking a month. Um, I, don't, I don't think I should permanently leave the float voltage so high. But uh, I do want to, you know, try and save these batteries. That's two grand. Well, now, Christ, after uh, Bidenomics, uh, I, I, I don't even know what it'll cost to replace my batteries. So I'm going to try and save them, okay? So, um, yeah, it's working. Um, I'm going to continue to keep an eye on them over uh, the next month with uh, those little adjustments made and uh, periodically I'm going to do, you know, similar to what I'm doing now where I'm just letting the house run off of the generator instead of pulling on the, pulling on the batteries and just give them a darn break once in a while, you know. I, and I guess I, you know, really never did that. Um, I was always trying to hurry up and stuff a whole bunch of power into the batteries while it was still running the house um and i really never honestly i think that was killing them it was killing them faster so so yeah give your batteries a break once in a while <laughs> turn your inverter off once in a while um yeah that's all i got so so yeah, uh, to those who, you know, gave me some advice, maybe even constructive criticism, thank you. Um, you know, that's that's the whole point of this here channel. Uh, I, I, I never got any schooling for any of this. Uh, I never got any formal training for electronics. Um, you know, I take shit apart and uh, and tinker. So, I'm learning as I go here. But, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Um, God bless you.